What up, y'all? It's your boy LC the one, aka Illmatic One. What's going on out there, man? And it's your boy LC the one, aka Illmatic One. But um, back for another session. Yeah, back for another session. I got my earphones if y'all can't hear me. Because last time people said they couldn't hear what I was talking about, right? So, I finna preview one of my new tracks I was working on the other day. And I put a post up on Facebook. It was called Ray Ray. Uh, but uh, I had heard Ace Hood and his song mention Ray Ray. And I was like, damn, how this boy hear what I was doing and I was recording my chorus line right while well, I was recording my chorus line on like one of my little tapes I'm gonna show y'all hold on my headphones may be too restricted hold on I'm just gonna crank up the volume pump up the volume you dig but uh yeah this how I get that but uh I was recording my, my joint. Uh, I was recording, I recorded my chorus lines on this, these little devices right here, these little microphones. Boy, they come in handy, no lie. This will save you a lot of time when you're trying to record songs and stuff and make up stuff. And when you get a hot beat or something like that and you need. You know, to, to to hurry up and get that little 16 out and you just freestyle something. This right here, this, these little things in an iPhone or whatever, these are more stable because it's analog. You see it's still, you see probably still see the tape is set in there. And you ain't got to worry about the phone, battery dying and none of that. All you got to do is pop a battery in this joint, you dig, and get, and you know, you can play your, play your stuff back. What you, this what reporters use, like when they go out in the field. And that's what I got, I got this for because when I was at school, we had to get stuff like this. I was a broadcasting media student, so we had to always have these Pro Tools. I call these Pro Tools. All right? So I had always had this stuff with me whenever I was doing something in regards to our media. You know what I'm saying? And stuff we do whenever we go out and shoot stuff and et cetera, et cetera, and all that. I'm trying to get my mic in the background and stuff, but yeah. But anyway, as long as y'all get a little piece of the TV, y'all all good. Y'all see what I'm doing. But anyway, but yeah, I wanted to preview one of my new tracks that I was working on. I just got in from my job. Excuse me, I gotta have a drink. Hold on. Yeah, but this your boy LC the One, aka Illmatic One. This LC the One TV. I ain't did an episode really in a long time. Just been putting videos up. I normally post these videos on YouTube. Back in the day, if you look, like, I had a few girls at work that was checking out my video, and they seen my first LC1 TV. You know, I had, it was like a little comical thing I did with my producing and stuff, but, hey, you know, it got me some views, man. I'm talking about, they was clicking on that one. But anyway, uh, this is my TV show, LC1 TV, and I might be doing a lot of stuff later on, because I was going to broadcast my, my basketball game. I'm about to go back to the A-Sport Fitness Club and start playing again and stuff and get my body back in shape because I was working on a little DVD called uh, Legend on the Court. And a few of my co-workers, uh, they jumped in the video. Shout out to Javier, uh, D. Evans, uh, 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 D. Davis, you know, Mr. Harry, uh, uh, Owens, Mr. Owens, Mr. Tanner. A lot of the young brothers at work, you know what I'm saying, they, they let me record my little scrimmage that we did on the west side you know it did pretty good on the internet you know what i mean so i'm gonna go back and work out again but this time i'm trying to travel with their gym because the gym i go to that's what been like i said they all over you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna try to go and check out their gym especially in new york to see if i can hook up with some brothers out there and then same time promote my company which is what y'all seeing now lm production internationally known and locally respected but anyway, check it out.
The other day I was telling y'all I had did this song called Ray Ray, right? And uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I made the chorus line. Like, I was putting the chorus line in here, <clears throat> right? About 12 o'clock at night, because that's when I'm really percolating and stuff, because I don't go to bed for like one or two. Because I be critiquing people videos, movies. I watch num movies all day. My daughter and I'm going to tell you, that's all, I, I, man, because that's good for me because it helps my ideas. You know what I'm saying? I just finished my screenplay. You know what I'm saying? I said I was going to preview that. I'm going to show y'all that, too. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull that up real quick because I did promise y'all that I was going to uh, preview my screenplay, uh, Evil Eye. I, I was showing y'all, you know, as the, the production for that was going along weeks and months and days and stuff but I finished it and I, I forgot I forgot to you know post it up and let y'all see it's kind of blurry because the sunlight and stuff like that <clears throat> if I turn down over here then it may let y'all see a little bit of it but um yeah you can see it's starting to come in now but uh yeah I'm gonna let y'all see the last page of it which is 104 pages I'm gonna read some of the last pages to y'all, the, the, the actual ending of it. But um, this scene 40, uh, this right here was when um, the detectives, they had to meet the suspect, supposedly myself, L, and um, they got a surprise when they went to go see the guy because the guy basically was turning himself in after he left a note at this girl house that was his best friend, well, his, his woman's best friend, and he left a note after he killed his best partner, his homie, his right-hand man. Just the same, it's like the same plot from Tony, Tony Montana. He, he went over there, he killed Mano, right? When uh, he didn't know where Gina was at, he went over there, once he found out where the address was, he went over there, killed her, or well, killed uh, Mano, his partner, uh, man, what I think his name Manny, Mano, something like that. But he killed him. But this is somewhat like the same thing. But this is the last part of it. So I'm gonna read it to y'all before I go into the other production stuff. You know what I'm saying? With the, uh, I'm gonna try to turn it down so y'all can see. If y'all can see it a little bit. I don't know if that helps. Nope, it didn't. But I right, but check it out. Detective Bivens and uh, Detective Bivens. Uh, gets killed instantly, then L levitates off the ground about five feet, startling and frightening Detective Jacobs. And then he flies towards him and come back to the ground and get really close to Detective Jacobs. He gets face to face, pulls off his mask, and let him see his uh, fire red eyes and says, evil, and looks at the camera and the scene fades to black. And goes into scene 41, uh, which opens at a mental institution, and Detective Jacobs is a, is a, is a patient. And um, they have him in a straitjacket because he seems to be possessed and not in his right mind. Now, after meeting L, and all he keeps repeating is saying, his eyes were so red, his eyes were so red, and the doctors are consulting with each other as they look on through a window where they can see him, but he cannot see them. Like an interrogation scene, and then the scene pans up and the credits rolls, and it fades black. But that's the ending of that, you know what I'm saying, that, that screenplay. 104 pages, y'all probably can't see it from you know, the blurriness. I probably can't see it from, I can see some text, but I'm just saying it's kind of lit in here. But anyway, back to beats yeah let's get to the beats all right now like i said i was previewing uh i wasn't previewing no viewers but the viewers that man well what's up mr boom but i was previewing uh uh, uh earlier about my evil eye uh not my evil eye but uh the song that i produced it was called ray ray right and i was doing a chorus line 
then I heard Ace Hood. Ace Hood was saying something in one of his songs, and he said, Ray Ray, I was like, damn. Because I noticed, like, a lot of the musicians, and, you know, that sound right now, the, the new ones, the young ones, they be saying stuff, man. And I be like, damn, how is, it be my stuff. And I be like, how the hell? And I'm under underground. But that's good, though. If somebody checking me out, that's what's happening. But uh, I'm going to let y'all hear this, uh, this song, Ray Ray. And I was going to start making another. I already did, like, three or four tracks for this new collection of records called Hefe, the Hefe Records. But this record is so cold. I ain't gonna say nothing because y'all ain't gonna be able to hear me and stuff anyway. So I'm gonna let the beat play and you know you can formulate your opinions and stuff like that. I'm gonna fall back like this and let y'all listen to how it sounds. Alright? But this song right here is called Ray Ray. Check it out. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna open it up for y'all, man. Alright, y'all ready? This is the song I was talking about on my post, if y'all read my post from a, probably a few days ago. But this is the song Ray Ray, the chorus line cold. I ain't gonna even say it on here because I heard it, you know what I'm saying? And I was, I was shocked to hear dude Ace Hood saying it already. Because I had heard, already heard somebody saying Hefe in um, they little mixtapes. And I just started posting my little promotion for it on my page. So I don't know who checking me out, but... Hey man, all y'all gotta do is start pressing play, man. Just give me that money. You know what I'm talking about? So I can produce these videos, you dig? On the real. But uh, check this out. This is Ray Ray. Let's listen. Let's listen. I'm gonna fall back. Yeah. That's how it 
inspired by that movie South Central. Yeah. I'm gonna let y'all hear the other one I did the other day. Called Group. Go down, go. Yeah. And then I'm gonna along that couple more minutes, you dig? And then we're gonna do the next one. And then that's gonna be food for you to want to see you for now. Grin. I got that snort, got that whatever you need, that juice and then yeah, we be picking up the shit, get my people in the wind, this is doing something like, but uh, take it back, I'll be enough, with that act, with Franco in the whole line, from the wild honey to the low, yeah, super now, cold now, that's super now, cold now, you can't even touch me, I know you see me, but you, nah, huh? This one is drooped. Y'all heard this one already. You know what I'm saying? The last time I was previewing it, that was the intro for the Hefe collection. This one drooped. This is, whoo. Man, I'm already writing the verses. This one is so cold, boy. Man. I might have to pull some people out, man. I'm gonna see if I can get the monster on a couple of my new stuff, my new tracks. He ain't been on none of that. Man, since phone call, you dig? I let my man Rowdy or whoever else want to man, I'm telling you, I'm finna go in on this jet. Y'all heard this one. Remember this? Yeah. 
I got a, I got a double CD called Life Creation and Lucifer Crucified LC. I wrote that man about ten years ago. Like a book in the blind today. Boy, we got this stuff. I could spit some on this right now. Woo! Blow your mind. Some real, some real stuff. I ain't talking about nothing. These little boo boo rap down here. I'm talking about I'm talking about yeah, man. It's your boy LC the One, LC the One TV. Like I was saying, man, I was on preview. I already previewed. Uh, uh, Ray Ray, I was talking about that on my Facebook page, man. So y'all probably can go down my wall and check out what I was talking about. And my man Ace Hood caught, I don't know, that's what I'm saying. I ain't even put none of this out yet. But he said Ray Ray in the joint. What's up, Mr. Jackson? Randy Jackson, what's happening, man? Mr. Boom, I see you. But, uh, hey, man, I do this every day, man. I just finished my screenplay. So everything I be saying to y'all, I be posting on my page, I be real with it, man. I be saying I'm going to make something, do something, I do it. I'm about to go in the gym, work on my Legend on the Court again, my basketball DVD stuff. And now I'm doing my production for my Hefe records. This is a, a project that's going to have 30 tracks, 10 songs for each record. Y'all probably see the, the, the uh, pics right now. The pick arts is me. You can see my profile pick. That's Hefe One. That's the first record. Hefe Two. That's the second record. You see my pick arts. If you look at my pictures, my third one is Hefe Three. Then I'm gonna be writing the screenplay for that. I'm gonna be writing the screenplay because I already got the storyline. It's so cold, man. It's partial my real life and what I experienced, but man, it's real, Jack. 
Like uh, they got a new um, uh, movie coming out called The Lick Part Two, and it's a uh, it's a sequel to Lick, The Lick Part One that's on uh, YouTube. It's a Chicago it's a Chicago movie. So I'm not trying to discredit none of these directors like Spike Lee that they came here and tried to tell our tale and stuff like that. That's where I come in because I was trained. I went to school for it. And I'm going to write our story the way it's supposed to be written so people won't be getting upset with these directors, man. Because we got underground here. We got other people here. And we're going to make sure the story is getting told the way it's supposed to, like everybody else tell. Memphis, New York, you know what I mean? So that's why I come in there. I'm that dude, the under, uh, the underdog, the dude in the cut. Like uh, uh, A-Ball from A-Ball and MJG said, he said, I got people in the in the cut making platinum stuff. That's, that's I'm one of them dudes. So that's what I'm saying. While everybody else be going out and stuff, just know somebody working for the city, man. Your boy L, I be working for shot, repping it 24-7, 365, 36 in a leap year. Child Jiggle. On the real, all day, every day, man. I'm shot town to the fullest, Jack. So that's what I'm saying, man. Anything y'all can give, y'all can just press play on any of my music, on YouTube, any anything. It's up there. It's already out there. Man, just let it play. You ain't got to listen to it, man. Just let it play or whatever. Turn the volume down. But that's going to help. You know what I mean? And it's going to help the productions and stuff like that. And that's how we can produce and bring out these real stories and Music and all that other stuff, man. Cause we need money, man. Can't do it without it, Jack. You know what I'm saying? So, support your own, man. That's what I'm saying. Support Chicago, and Chicago gonna give it back to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause that boosts our economy, man. We gotta help each other out, man. That's the only way it's gonna happen. So that's what I'm saying. Press play, man. Like Diddy said. Now I know what you're talking about. Press play, man. That's all you gotta do. If you ain't got no money to buy none of that, press play. That's all. That's it. <laughs> if a radio catch on or something like that, that's even better. You dig? But I'm just saying, I'm writing too. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't the only one. It's a whole bunch of us, man. And I mean that for real, man. It's a whole bunch of us. That's what I'm saying. I'm writing this shit for real. My Evil Eye screenplay is butter, man. It's butter. It is. My Hefe is butter. This one right here. I got another one too. I got a whole bunch of scripts. Grizzans, y'all probably seen the pick art for this all over the internet. Well, I got my, my, my apps and stuff like that, my social media stuff. Grizzans, I, that was one of the first ones I started writing on. Before I even did the evil stuff. Y'all see the evil app uh, art. That's what I'm saying. Your boy is really doing work, man. You know what I'm saying? One of the ladies at work, her name is Webster. She said, if you don't use it, you lose it. You know, I went to school for all this training. So I'm using it, man. I started my own company. I won't wait for no opportunity or no handout for nobody else. You know what I'm saying? I take my little money, save it, invest in a company like our, like Master P said. I invest a third of my company. Every check, I'm, I make sure it goes back to me, you know, my production in some form, shape, or fashion. So I'm not making up no excuses, and I'm not trying to accept no excuses, you know what I'm saying? Because, can, man, you can, you can budget yourself and make it happen, man. You can network with people too, and that's that's another way of uh, you know creating an opportunity for yourself. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying. That's that's how you can reach a goal. You dig? So that's what I do all the time. My neighbors will tell you, man, I, I be at this shit, man, for real. I don't be playing ten years straight, more than that. You know what I'm saying? Since I hear my stuff, you know, and I keep going over everything. I everything, all my my software I got. That's the master. That's how you master your stuff. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep going over it. You know what I'm saying? To create something new or whatever. You know, you ain't gotta have all the top notch stuff out here. You could be somebody like Lex Luger, somebody I really admire, because he didn't have nothing. Him, uh, Soldier Boy, they had regular software. Even too short, he still work off the same stuff. Scarface. Your boy Scarface, he be working out of the old stuff he got and produce sound. That's what I'm saying. It's how your work ethic is and how dedicated your passion is for your art or your for what you're trying to create. You know what I mean? So you could do it, man. And if you need help doing it, all you gotta do is just ask questions. You know, or research it. My homies put me on. 
my homie Roddy Rod in a, in a honey, he showed me how to work my program and stuff and told me what to go get. Shout out to Roddy Rod, my homeboy, on the real, Robbins, Illinois. You dig? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Hey, clothes mouth don't get fed, but man, you can make stuff happen, man, o overnight. You could be whatever you want to be. You know what I mean? You ain't got to be top notch, but man, you can, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. I'm, man, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to get up there with Shawty Red. You know what I'm saying? These type of producers, Shawty Red, uh, DJ Paul. You know what I mean? I could be in the cut chilling, just making stuff. You know, writing and stuff. Be like Tyler Perry and Kevin Hart. Constantly producing stuff. You know what I mean? But that's what I'm on, man. But uh, thank y'all for tuning in. This is LC The One TV. This is your boy LC The One. LC The One to be exact, that is. And I was giving y'all an update on my Hefe records, my production, my tracks I'm making, the instrumentals right now. Before the recording process, probably be like next year, because I'm trying to pump out 30 before the year closes. All right? Normally, my LC1 TVs be broadcasted on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You'll see it. But I had to live stream something for y'all, man. Y'all see a different type of angle and stuff when I do that. I got to lean over because these damn cameras are so damn small. Now, I can turn it, you know what I'm saying? And then I can be climbing like that and dig and, you know, be talking shit and all that. But anyway, yeah. But, um, yeah. Keep tuning in, man. It's going to get greasy. You know what I'm saying? You may see somebody. You're going to see an entertainer here for real. Mark my words. I'm going to have somebody right here in the back, man, on this, on this microphone. They're going to be recording this shit. Y'all going to be like, hell no. Yep. But um, stay tuned. This is your boy, LC1. LC1 to be exact that is. Thank y'all for tuning in. Man, be on the lookout. Export Fitness Club. Your boyfriend will go in there. Do some Michael Jordan stuff. Throwback. Yeah. Church on the Reverend got him out. Peace.